five reasons why you should buy a second gen Sequoia in 2023. Yeah. Stop it, we're not saying that on camera. Before we get started, some of you may have seen the five reasons why you shouldn't buy a Sequoia in 2023 for overlanding, and yes, I made that video, and yes, I stand by all those points. But if you're still hell-bent on getting one of these, then this video is for you. Let's start with the number one reason, which is my favorite, and that's the engine and drivetrain. This is the 5.7 liter V8, and sometimes V8 is best. Not only does a V8 allow you to keep things simple when you're off-road, it's just naturally aspirated. There's very few things that can break. This 5.7 liter is actually powered by a timing chain. Worry less about timing belt issues with this motor. Plus, the 5.7 liter not only came with a TRD supercharger option, but a lot of other companies make superchargers as well, which means, lots of smiles per gallon. No, it doesn't get very high miles per gallon. And before you ask me what kind of miles per gallon I'm getting on my rig, I didn't buy a 6,000 pound SUV, put it on 37s, lift it, if I cared that much about MPGs. If you care a lot about MPGs, then don't do what I did. Another part of the drivetrain that is actually really great about this car is you have selectable four wheel drive. You got two wheel drive, four high and four low, which are actual four lows. And you got a center locking diff. It doesn't have a rear locker, which it desperately needs. But if this is your family cruiser and you drive it all over the country, up and down the mountain roads, some very light off-roading, then this thing's perfect for you, baby. Real four wheel drive. Finally, the biggest benefit to this engine and drivetrain is the tow rating. This thing can tow up to 7,400 pounds. That's way more than a GX470. That's way more than a Toyota Tacoma. This thing is big and it can tow a lot of big things. And if you are a family with an RV, with a trailer, if you're like me and you have a bunch of stupid race cars in the garage, then heck, this might be the perfect rig for you. And the number two reason why a second gen Sequoia might be perfect for you is the space, the space, my God, the space. There's so much space in this car, it's freaking ridiculous. In fact, there are 18 cup holders. This car is a platinum model, so no metal seat. We just have this like cubby thing here. It seats seven. In the back seats alone, there are two in the right door, two in the middle cubby, that's four, two behind the center console, that's six, and then two in the left door over there, that's eight. For two people sitting in the back, there are eight. The people in the third row have their own set of four cup holders, that's 12. Then we go to the front, two in the middle, two on each door, that's six, that's 18. I can't get over it. Who needs that many cup holders? I don't know, but you got a lot. So if you have a family with kids and matchbox cars and super big gulps, you got a place for every freaking thing you can think of. Wow, that's comfortable. If you don't have a giant family and it's just you and your wife, you, your wife and a dog, maybe you, your wife and a kid, you can actually sleep inside the Sequoia comfortably. I'm 6'1", 225-ish pounds, and you can tell I've folded the seat back. I have rear seats deleted, and look at this. If you don't delete the rear seats, that's fine. That area folds flat. You could easily sleep inside this car and be very comfortable car camping in it. You probably don't need a rooftop tent, and you probably don't even need a ground tent. Plus, you have privacy shade at night, so you could leave your windows down, keep it dark, or shaded, as you can see here, that's a huge plus for car camping. The number three reason why you might want a second gen Sequoia, this is also one of my favorites, the back window slides down. That comes in super handy if you're like me and you have a car fridge and you don't wanna open the back hatch but you wanna grab a nice cold beverage, you can just reach in and grab whatever you want. Also, if you like summer activities that require very large ob uh, objects like a surfboard, a kayak, or whatever, you can literally just put it inside here, have it stick out the back and be done with it. Plus, you can control this window from the driver's seat. So if you got doggos and they like to keep their heads out and we wanna keep them safe, roll down the back window. It also rolls back up. 
The number four reason is there are a ton of Tundra parts that fit this vehicle. I know some of you are gonna say, there isn't much aftermarket support for our Toyota Sequoia people. In fact, Platinum people have even less aftermarket support. But if you get a little crafty, you'll find that there's a ton of stuff out there to mod your second gen Sequoia. In fact, let me count off all the parts that I put on this thing that are from a Tundra. That's from a Tundra. That's from a Tundra. That's from a Tundra. Upper control arms are from a Tundra. My Eibach coilovers are from a Tundra. Front skid plates from a Tundra. My Titan 7 forged wheels are made to fit a Tundra. These are from a Tundra. These are from a Tundra. This steering wheel is from a Tundra. This molly panel plates from a Tundra. Car stereo is from a Tundra. These blackout knobs are from a Tundra. Blackout door handles are from a Tundra. I'm sure I'm forgetting other parts here. But there's a lot of parts from a Tundra that are on this thing. And that's kind of the beauty of the second gen Sequoia. It's more of like a Frankenstein car that uses a lot of parts from existing Toyota vehicles, specifically the Tundra. And finally, the number five reason is the factory remote start. In Washington, it gets pretty warm in the summer, so I like to keep the car nice and cool before we get in it. In the winters, it gets pretty cold, and I like to warm up the truck. All it takes is three presses of the lock button and a plane flying over you, and the car should start. And if you want to turn off the car, it's the same sequence. That's pretty trick if you ask me. So there you have it. Five reasons why you should buy a second gen Toyota Sequoia. There are some pretty cool features, but it pays to be different. I mean, you don't really see any lifted giant trees like this on the road. You see a lot more Forerunners, you see a lot more Tundras, you see a lot more GX470s, but it's kind of nice to be different sometimes. And so that's why I made this video. Do we love our Toyota Sequoia? Well, it still has some teething issues, but I'll tell you this much. I'm really enjoying and I'm really loving how it's turning out. Pretty soon, I'll probably fall in love with it. It does need some critical item, but she's starting to look pretty good. But well, that's it for now. If you guys wanna see more Toyota Sequoia content, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please make sure you hit the like button. I'm making these videos because of all the Sequoia nerds who have reached out and really, really, really like the content. So I'm gonna keep putting them for you. I wanna keep putting out as many Sequoia videos as I can. All I ask is that you support the channel any way you can. Other than that, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching.